So this was a pretty interesting week full of some interesting twists, turns, some good luck, some bad luck, some interesting moments. It's got it all here for a, a kind of strange week. It's this week with Big C. So as you can see, I'm out and about. I just finished my grocery shopping for the week. So I figured since I'm out, I might as well film my bumper bits for this week. Not a ton of stuff happened, but also some interesting stuff happened. It's a lot of weird stuff. It's like, I wouldn't say it's all bad. It's all not good either though. It's kind of a weird mix, but at least it makes for an interesting week nonetheless. So let's get to the recap and check out what happened over the past two weeks. Not a great day, but some interesting things happened at least. So for starters, today my dad had the first of his two eye surgeries. He has cataracts in both of his eyes, so he had to go under surgery to get them fixed. Which, it's always concerning whenever anybody has to go under surgery, but especially my dad just because my grandmother actually passed due to complications with, with anesthesia and surgery. So obviously it's always a concern, especially with my dad's side, the family. So I was, I was worried about that pretty much all day. Thankfully, it's a very routine procedure and he was completely fine. He actually talked to me uh, shortly afterwards when I was on my last break for the day. So that's good. So everything's fine on that front. And then the weird part happened. So I was on the bus getting ready to go home. And the driver was in a mood and you could tell just because like he was very snippy about every little thing. There were a couple people who really irritated him though. There was this one guy who has a mental disability and he kept making snide comments and taking off his mask. And so the bus driver was yelling at him to like, hey, keep your mask on and like, you better stop talking or else you're getting kicked off the bus. And then there was this older woman who I don't think understood what was going on, but she tried to pay her fare. Apparently one of the dollars didn't go into the the slot and the driver like tried to tell her to fix it and she didn't pay attention. Her mask also kept falling down, but like she corrected it. It wasn't an intentional thing. And the driver was really pissed about this for some reason to the point where he would not move the bus when it was time to go. We were sitting there for a good, I don't know, almost 10 minutes just waiting. Well, he ended up calling his supervisor and like explaining the situation and explaining that people weren't listening to him. And I'm like, oh, we are though. Like literally every person on the bus had their mask on. Nobody was saying anything. Everybody was fine. There were some people grumbling because we didn't, we weren't moving. But that's it. So that was weird. Eventually he finally started going and he ended up talking to his supervisor at one of the stops who talked to this woman who, again, older woman, very confused about how to ride the bus properly and was super nice about everything. Like the, the supervisor explained like, hey, you have to pay your fare properly. And she's like, I, I, I did, it didn't go through. And so, you know, she was she was confused by a lot of it, but everything worked out. I was able to make it home. Okay. Uh, the weather also has been pretty terrible for today. Uh, in a sad, ironic twist of fate, tonight was actually supposed to be the 2021 service celebration for Disney, and that also got canceled. We're not canceled, postponed for the exact same reasons that the 2021 did. So sucks for everybody who was supposed to go tonight because they're also not going to get to go. Meaning so now Disney's going to have to schedule two more nights to do this later on in the year. So that's fun. But yeah, it's just been kind of a weird and mostly disappointing day. 
So hopefully things are start to turn around. Uh, I am off on Thursday. I had someone offer to take my shift and I'm like, you know what, you can have it. So I only work a six hour day tomorrow and then I have a three day weekend. So that's pretty nice. Hopefully that'll start to turn things around. We got some good plans coming out over the weekend, including the revival of a big CTV classic series you're not going to want to miss. So, yeah, that's that's what I got for today. Some interesting stuff, at least. Hey everybody, it's Friday. I mentioned the quarter clip yesterday. I just didn't get around to it because I actually had more going on than I thought. So, Corey is actually out of town because tomorrow is his birthday. So early happy birthday to Corey. I'm actually gonna call him on his birthday, but he's uh, he's back in North Carolina with his family for his birthday. So I have the apartment to myself for a week, which is good and bad. It's nice because I don't have to worry about waking him up when I leave for work and stuff, but you know, it's also kind of lonely at the same time, but that's okay. Also this weekend's been pretty busy, at least so far. Uh, it's the Super Bowl weekend. So Matt and I have kind of early prepared what we want to do in terms of our spread for the Super Bowl. We've already picked out some drinks, we picked out some snacks, and we have a plan for getting the rest of our snacks for the Super Bowl. And that'll be a good time. I'll probably document some of that either for this week or for its own video. We revived Wingin' It. That's right, Wingin' It is back. A uh, new episode is coming out. Actually, it's probably already out by the time this video is out. That's the tough part we're doing uh, this week every two weeks is sometimes stuff that I is coming out at the time of recording is already out because of the time. Anyway, Wingin' It should be out by now. We did it at Sicky's Garage just because they have a pretty substantial wing uh, menu. And we figured, you know, we wanted to try the wings, so we might as well do an episode of Wingin' It, and it was a good time. So check that video out if you have not already. It's pretty good stuff. Other than that, kind of a chill weekend. Uh, doing some editing. I'm gonna get my taxes done finally. I've been meaning to do that the past few weeks, but I just haven't gotten around to it because I know it's gonna take some time to get done. So I'm gonna get that done, uh, do some editing, play more Pokemon, play some other stuff because I'm a little bit behind on videos for the Plays channel because I, I just haven't played other games lately besides Pokemon. I'm also tempted to film a new series called Roll Credits where I talk about games that I've completed. I was going to film one potentially this weekend about Pokemon Legends, but I'm actually pretty close to finishing the post game as well. So I think I'm going to wait until I finish the post game. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Nothing too crazy. We got some new taste tests coming out. Uh, Matt did a Pokemon unboxing. That's going to be coming out. We got a lot of content uh, that we made over the past few weeks for this channel. So you're going to have plenty of good stuff. And potentially if all goes according to plan, next weekend might be something cool. So we'll see if it works out, but next weekend might be something cool. Hey everybody, it is Sunday, and more specifically, it is Super Bowl Sunday 2022. Uh, the game ended a few minutes ago. Uh, Matt already left. We had a good time, though. We watched the game. The Rams won the Super Bowl, which I'm okay with. I didn't really have a stake with either team. I wanted the the Bengals to win mostly because they've never won a Super Bowl. But the Rams pulled it off. They won the game in the end. It was a well-deserved win, honestly. They they really toughed it out. Won a very hard-fought game. And there's a lot of great players on that team that I'm glad finally won. Aaron Donald, of course, Matthew Stafford, OBJ. A bunch of great players on that Rams team that absolutely deserve to win a Super Bowl. So congrats to them for their Super Bowl victory. And the second team in a row to win the Super Bowl in their home stadium, which is a weird trend you would never see coming. But yep, two years in a row, the home team actually won the Super Bowl at home, which is crazy. But yeah, it was a good time. Uh, Matt and I had a nice spread for the Super Bowl. We got PDQ tenders because Zaxby's kind of screwed me over. I placed a to-go order yesterday, actually you know, two days ago, to make sure that our food was going to be ready in time for the game. We pulled up to Zaxby's and the whole store was closed, apparently due to staffing. So I emailed them and told them, hey, like I prepaid for this food and it's not there. So they did refund me. So that should be coming throughout the week or sometime this week. But we had to scramble to make an alternate arrangement for food. So we actually ended up going to PDQ, which turned out pretty well. 
Uh, and then we had some chips. We each had a little, our own drink. And then we had some Jeremiah's Italian ice for dessert. It was a good time, we had a nice spread. Both of us uh, actually had some food left over. So it was a good time. But yeah, uh, really enjoyed the Super Bowl. Fun game, had some solid things. The Doctor Strange trailer was incredible. So if you haven't watched that, you should absolutely watch that. But yeah, pretty happy with it. Uh, now I gotta get to bed because I work in the morning and uh, hopefully tomorrow is a, a decent day at work. Hey everybody, it is Tuesday. I'm on the bus heading home, or was. Apparently the bus blew a tire, so we're just stranded on the side of the road. Small Disney property, up by the parking lot for Magic Kingdom. Um, so Disney security and the bus driver and everybody are taking a look at everything, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, yeah, it's great because I, I got off a little bit early today, so I can try to get home a little bit quicker. And this happens. That's my luck. So yeah, just stuck on the side of the road waiting for a um, new bus to show up so we can actually get out of here. But in the meantime, we're just kind of stuck. So that's fun. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday and I only have one more day left before I get my weekend, which is nice. Today was actually the final day, for the time being at least, uh, of masks being required at Disney. So they made an announcement yesterday that as of tomorrow, uh, no one will be required to wear a mask if they're fully vaccinated uh, in the parks. The only exception is transportation which is still, I believe, a Department of Transportation requirement. So you still have to wear a mask if you are on the monorail, the ferry boat, Skyliner, stuff like that. But other than that, you are no longer required to wear a mask, which is great because that's one of the biggest headaches that's been going on over the past several years, having to constantly tell people, hey, put your mask on, put your mask on correctly. It's really annoying. Obviously, it'll be nice when I don't have to wear a mask myself anymore, but I'm more so just happy that now I don't have to constantly tell people, hey, put your mask on, put your mask over your nose. It's really frustrating, really annoying, and now it's not going to be a problem. So that's good. Other than that, I haven't done much. I pretty much came home, chilled. Yeah, that's about it. I did my taxes yesterday, so I'm actually getting a refund, which will be nice. Uh, I've got kind of some plans for what I'm going to do with that. But yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. Not a whole lot. So it'll be interesting to see how the weekend plays out. I had an idea for the weekend that's unfortunately not going to happen. But we'll try to do some fun stuff anyway. So yeah, not, not a, the most exciting of updates. But you know what? Not everything is going to be. So. Hey everybody. It is Friday. I am out and about. Made it through my work week. Uh, about to go do some grocery shopping and then maybe a little game hunting. Don't really have any plans for this weekend. I'm kind of just chilling. I did a lot last week, so I don't have a lot I have to do, which is nice. Probably going to try to do some more organization around my apartment, play some games because I haven't played a lot, especially the stuff I need to play for the Big CTV Plays channel, so I need to catch up on that. Other than that, I mean, not much to do, so... Should be a pretty chill weekend, but you know, that's how it is sometimes. All right, so now it's time for a video preview of one of our upcoming videos, and we got some interesting stuff on the way, so check it out and see what you think. I was gonna make a Shrek joke because onions have layers, and this is sour cream and onion layers, lays, but. I don't really feel like it. So we have two new kinds of chips from Lay's. We have the sour cream and onion layers and the three cheese layers. So apparently what these are, are they're bite-sized layers. So it looks like it's kind of like a puffy chip, sort of. That's going to do it for this episode of This Week with Big C. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. New videos on this channel air three days a week unless there is a bonus video. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. We got tons of content coming on this channel. Lots of taste tests, lots of 
Pokemon unboxings, <clears throat> lots of fun stuff. You name it, we got it. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to 900 subscribers. That's our next big milestone. I think last I checked, we're about at 888. So we are very, very close. Help us get there if you can. Recommend your friends watch it. And hopefully before the end of the year, we'll finally hit 1,000. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in two weeks on This Week with Big C. Bye-bye.